Now let's take you to Gladstone and Darren Curtis, who is travelling with Pauline Hanson. Darren, is the party's our Queensland leader with the senator? Well, even no. Steve Dixon spent a little bit of time with the battle bus yesterday and travelled up to Gympie. And then after that, he went back to his own electorate on the Sunshine Coast. Now, since then, Pauline Hanson has continued her campaigning right across Queensland and she's been ducking into a lot of small towns. She was at Childers and Gin Gin today. And some people are saying, well, why is she out there talking to people, making promises, sharing time with them, when actually no one actually gets to vote for her in this state election? Well, Pauline Hanson has countered and basically said, well, look, the party bears my name and as I see fit I'm going to continue on campaigning because really I'm the star attraction. Have a little listen to what she's been telling us today. I am the face of the party and um, people do recognise me. I'm also a senator and I think that I'm getting behind my candidates. Um, of course I should be here supporting them. However, there's could, going to be probably a little bit of controversy this afternoon. There's a late-breaking story that Senator Hanson may have her own problems about citizenship. In fact, she may be falling into that dual citizenship role. The internet has been alight this afternoon with rumours and documents claiming that Senator Hanson apparently has some English heritage and some Irish heritage that she hasn't declared. And this may, in fact, throw her into all sorts of trouble and she may end up back before the High Court. So far, she has denied the claims. She's laughed at them. And I'll tell you tonight at six o'clock, she's put out a bit of a challenge to everybody to try and prove different. Darren Curtis reporting there.